on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none, you know, my day all gone. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms, including Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, you name it. YouTube, you name it. We're on it. Just type in Boss Talk Podcast 101, and you can find us anywhere, any podcast streams, okay? Don't say I didn't tell you. But anyway, if you want to see our full-length interviews, see our visuals, go ahead and sign up for our membership on our YouTube channel, and you'll be able to see all our visuals uninterrupted, okay? Thank me later. Listen, man. Hey, man. Listen, man. Uh, we got a special guest in here today. Y'all already knew she was coming because you went on the damn live and told everybody. <laughs> this woman right here don't need no introduction. She been introducing herself all damn week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> on every streaming platform she has. That part. The homie is here. Uh, to be honest with you, I took a liking to this woman uh, through uh, this old antique nigga named Pop Johnson. You know what I'm saying? And, and and to be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? I told him I did not want to meet this woman. He kept forcing the issue, and she is here, y'all. She don't need an introduction, as I said. Mama Scott is in the building. In the building. What's good? Man, what's good, man? Hey, listen, man. I'm going to be real with you, Mama Scott. That damn song T.I. posted on his Instagram, yeah. it did more numbers than anything else that he had going on that thing at the time. I yeah. hadn't looked at it lately because I only look at it just to How see what y'all's video is doing. Wow. DJ K, that's, I'm a big fan of him. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? And once I seen him link with T.I., that was big. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he is an East Texas hardhead. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I thought that was so you know unique that you would go down there yeah. and make that happen with DJ K and just how has that experience been? Man, it's been an amazing uh, experience at first <clears throat> dealing with people that's in the industry you have to decipher who's real and who's fake, you know so a lot of it be budgets money, who, what you gonna spend and that's how they determine who they're gonna work and fool with um, at the end of the day, T.I. has been one of the ones that really wasn't on that. He is who he is. He's not thirsty for money. Uh, none of that. He's not even really doing music right now. Um, so for him to honor our wishes to for DJ to do a song with his favorite artist, that was huge for us. That's what the the wealth in. That's what the wealth was for us. Was for him to be able to accomplish his dreams. So. Long as you know me, this yeah. nigga singing and dancing on that hoe again. We got the nigga out of retirement. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Pull he, them out. he come out of retirement dancing. He got dreads now. Yeah. But last song he didn't have no damn hair at all. <laughs> you know this nigga came out pumping and jumping. You yes, know what I'm did. saying? And I think that was noble for him to yeah. even rock out with y'all. But just be real, you've done things with different artists from Sauce Walker to uh, 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 Boosie, you you put up uh, money and and, yeah. and place these guys on features. You spent money with all of these different guys from all of the different ones, from Lil Ronnie, all yeah. of the different people that work with Fast yeah. ENT. Y'all all have collectively yeah. done this yes. as a team. As a team. You yes. know, and I think that's something that you don't see many people doing. What gives you the motivation and drive to keep that type of, uh, 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 you know, that drive going when it come down to the music industry? Um, I would say just having the passion to show people that you can be real and, and keep it authentic and actually be who you are and people will accept you for you if you just keep it 100. You know, so that's been my whole thing. Like, we didn't have shit to begin with. We had to make a way and it is what it is, but that's what I tell people. When it's something that you want, you have to be persistent and consistent about it. And then once you, once you formulate those two things into... Uh, what you're doing, you'll have success. So, man, you know, and and, and like I said, you make it sound so simple. You know, formulate, <laughs> you know, and advocate and anticipate. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. These niggas out here ain't going out getting no features with no. Sauce Walker. You know, no. I, I see some dudes doing it, but these these cats is in the industry. Yeah. Uh, whether it be you know Darrow yeah. or any of these guys that you see him on songs with, Lil Kiki, and and you in the elite yeah. class. It but comes when from you, relationships though. Like when I first started, this stuff came from my relationship stem with Bugatti Casino out of the casino family out of uh, Stop 6 Fort Worth you know and Bugatti at the time couldn't even perform in his own city because he said he 
was uh, disallowed to do that because he incited riots in, in Stop 6. So when I ran up on him, he was one of the hottest rappers out of Fort Worth and still is to this day. Him, Go Yayo, Ain't Johnny he locked Dan, up? Go Yayo is locked up. And Bugatti, Bugatti is locked up. Bugatti locked up, up yeah. too. Yeah, he'll be home so, soon. So, though. yeah, and I know you I know you value those guys, yes. man. You know, I just came into this thing looking and poking my nose in where I don't belong, <laughs> trying to understand what was going on yeah. with the music. You know, I've been a music uh, connoisseur, music yeah. type of guy since day one, you yeah. know, and you know when it come down to being a fan of the the culture and being here for the culture, that's yeah. what what I stand for, you know. But just to see the, the long litany of people that you work with, you know, it's just crazy because everybody not doing that, you mm -hmm. know, and we can't take it lightly, you know what I'm saying? Everybody not doing that. And a lot of people can't even develop those type of relationships to do that. Right. Their pride won't let them do right. that. You see what I'm saying? To work with all these different people, you have to put your pride to the side. Yes. It and can't just be about you. It's also about relationships. I keep telling people yeah. that. Like, yeah. the relationships matter. It's going to carry you further than money. You know, uh, if I was a fraud person, did bad business, they wouldn't refer me to and put me in the same circle with people that they know. You know, mm -hmm. so once a person gets around you and, and feels your aura and see that you are authentic and a genuine person, it's contagious. And I remember... Uh, Sauce Walker specifically telling me, how did you make all of us fall in love with you? We literally all love you. So that that is a phrase that I carry with me near and dear to my heart because I just, I've been me. When they when I want to cuss them out, I tell them y'all wrong as hell, you know, whatever. But a lot of them I have personal relationships like uh, Rico Reckless, um, Muddy Casino, which is also incarcerated. Sancho Saucy, which is Sauce Walker's twin, is incarcerated. It's a lot of them that are doing time right now behind whatever, but they're still real people, and they've been real and respectful around me, you know, so. Wow. Yeah. But, you know, you say networking or keeping a connection. How often do you call these people? Because people don't understand when they come around people and do business with them. Some people like we had Jay Cruz who came on here the yeah. other day and he was saying he's just not that person to keep. He's not good at that. Not yeah. good at that to call and keep up the link and whatever. If you call in him, that's cool. But yeah. for him to do it. I think it's a mutual thing. Uh, like Big X, I called and check on him the other day. He was he was on his live and I've never seen him be disturbed like he was. And I tried to call his manager and say, hey, let me talk to him, you know, um, because he's one one of the biggest artists coming out of Texas Well, could right you now. get him? Did you get him? Yeah, I got caught. I can't get the nigga no more. <laughs> the nigga come on my show, and I've been calling his manager. I ain't calling his manager no more. I had the nigga direct number, yeah. chain number, the nigga done switched up on. I can't oh, find man. the nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'll put a word uh, in uh, for uh, you. Big X, if you, I mean, I, I get it, bro. You yeah. you doing your thing. Yeah. Texas, what they say? I'm from Texas, whatever. Yeah. I, I, I was with you before that, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, yeah. we over here. Yeah. We in the building. But All I'm saying is, but it's good for them to have somebody they can talk yeah, to. Yeah, talk, them to, call me. talk them yeah. off the ledge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of time, fame hits you like Gucci Man said about yeah. that fame monster. Well, yeah. once I heard him talking about that, and and you know these these people go up in their yes. own mind. Yes. To be honest with you, because I'm dealing with a lot of elite people. Yes. So you and your mind go up. Yes. It's not the same as you really going up. It's not your mind, <laughs> your fame, and these people just call you. You, you got gotta a room keep full it, of you people. You gotta keep it a hundred, like uh, even with Tech Lou one of the biggest artists out of Baton Rouge, yeah. Louisiana. Me and his mom had a relationship first, me and Keitha. So that's how I got connected with Tech. She she found an interest in me because she's like, hey, we do the same type of stuff. You know, like I manage my kids, you know, talking about Tech. You know, so me learning and observing from different people, you know, sometimes the stuff that we go through behind the scenes, which is not always an attractive sight, you still fight and argue with your kids, you still go through finance problems and trying to figure it out. It's not always as attractive as people think. This industry, sometimes I be saying, fuck this shit. Yeah, you know, for yeah. real, because yeah, no, it's, I get it. it's not all wrapped Listen, up like man. they think. You hear me but, all it's about even, it. but it's not even only that, because some of these artists, um, moms are not there in their lives, no. or if they are in their lives, they don't understand the business part so right. be able to talk to a female mother type figure right. who understand the business right. that they can say certain things and you can give the advice and you, you see what I mean right. that's worth a lot more than anything yeah, and, else and to be honest which like I said even with, with uh, a Big X even when he came in here he was going through a lot of different stuff and yeah. at the time it was early in the game we deal with a lot of people early in the yeah. game you know and that's the good part about it love him love what he's doing he knocking it out the park when it come down to yes. representing 
keeping, you know, and keeping the mantle. You know, that mantle, it, it, you know, stuff come and go. Yes. You, didn't, you don't know how long you're going to be in the spotlight. So I think he's doing a prevalent job when it comes down to doing what he's doing. And then shout out to that boy, Rose Summer. Yeah. You know, I'm a Rose Summer fan, to yeah. be honest with you. I'm Rose Summer daddy, uh, him, they, they, uh, straight out of Paris, Texas, right. and I rock with him. You know, far as just just the fact of how he's holding it down. He actually told Big X to plug to rap. Wow! So you know when you when you start seeing these things unfold, Big X told me that. Yeah. On the show, so this is the stuff you start to see unfold, and you love seeing these guys' careers. You know, just keep going up, and I want to see him win. You know, yeah. all that, of them boys need. That's to win. that's actually how I got my bond with Big X was at a, a event up here in Dallas with the fuck shit. Yeah. You know, I'm part of the fuck shit in the industry. Yeah. Yeah. Dealing with fake ass promoters yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, that's uh, a part of it. Yeah, so he was supposed to be doing a song with my artist franchise and the club. Mr. Hit That Ho was a DJ that night. And it was at the out. Pentagon. Mr. And Hit That. Uh, Enchanting was in the house. Trap Boy, Freddie, a bunch of them. They probably All seen me them. act a fool that night. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because we were about to go to jail up here. Yeah. You know, but they was on fraud shit. But Big X came outside and he was like, hey, I, I'm sorry, you know, he was, that's the first time I had ever met him. And he was, I had paid him to actually get on the, because, you know, he's growing, so I paid him to get on the songs. Hey, come perform on stage and I'll, I'll pay you for your time, you know, or whatever. So he didn't get a chance to do that because of the fraud shit that Blue Ski Blue did in the goddamn club that night. You know really? what I'm saying? Yeah, so what, what happened, well, I mean, let's talk about it. Run me down through there because, I mean, <laughs> you, you basically show up, you and your team. About 30 of us. From East Texas. Yes. That's something you got to stop and let's talk about because yep. really East Texas, it, it, it has this stigma. Do you think that people outside of East Texas in these cities feel like East Texas people, uh, it, it, they just see a bag or they misuse them because of that? Yeah, I think so sometimes. Let's, let's be real for yeah, a second. I, I really do. I think that because we're not in the Metroplex areas and stuff like that because we consider it country, um, we're in the outskirts and more in the... Um, urban areas of outskirts or whatever not the population is nowhere near as big they consider us country and dumb like we don't know nothing you know so it's like you have to come in fighting twice as hard as an east texas artist or somebody that's migrating into cities from east texas because they feel like oh you you you're from the country you know they look at you like a, a country bomb you know but then you have people that make up the metroplex areas that are from East Texas, like those people that need, like you, yourself. Well, I'm from East Texas. You know what I'm saying? So you you never know who is East Texas, and East Texas is big. It's, it's not a lot small. of people, parents from East Texas yeah. as well, that might have been born in Dallas. There's yeah. a lot of people in that. I you you can say I'm from East Texas, but that don't negate the fact that I've been no. coming to Dallas since the '70s. That's right. That I ate you know free lunches over there at uh, uh, Santa and Beckley Park over there, where some of these young That's niggas right. will never even be able to go. I'm an older cat, That's so right. I, I hustled up here when niggas was packing oozes. <laughs> right. No, I'm that guy. Like I, I come here and. Houston too. It's yeah. not a game with me. Right. So I think that's what makes me a little bit different, different is the fact that I never did shy back when it come down to hitting whatever city, whether it was South Dallas or whether it was Scott Street in Houston, right. nigga. You'll find ECO you standing them. up in front of Harlem <laughs> Nights, nigga. You wanted them. I'm that guy. Yeah. Like I'm I'm I never been shy when it come down to going to, right. to as now. Like we go everywhere yeah, because that's how I it am. didn't just start like yeah, this. That, I feel you. That's I mean, how I it, am. it didn't just start like like you gotta understand, it didn't start like me having this and going right. to Chicago and going to Cali or going relate. wherever. I've been yeah, doing you've this. You've been doing it, but you've been doing it on a higher level for a long time. Correct. And, you know, so you've experienced a lot, you know, so they can't put you in a box. At all. You know, so we get put in a box. People try to put certain artists or certain people, even with me being a, a older female a CEO, they, oh, she's nice. I can get over on her type shit. Don't know how I ripped their goddamn head off. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. But let's go back to, I don't want you to get too far here. Let's go back to, what's his name? I don't Blue know. Blue Skin Blue. Okay, what, y'all came to the club. All right, you, did you, did you pay Blue Skin? You, maybe you didn't pay the money. $7,500, bro, in a promotion package that he was supposed to be promoting my artist. Show me the evidence of what he did it. He never did it. You know what I'm saying? I have been fucked over by people and no, I let shit about, go. Said, Hold on, did you what? get it in writing? No. Well, yes, yeah, some of it was in writing. It's in my phone. It's still in my phone to this day. A lot of it, I just let it go. That's what the problem is. I've been letting shit slide and letting shit go because it's us. And I'm just like, man, you know, this is why it's hard to trust us because we don't know how to grasp opportunities and build off of them. We look at it as a lick, you know, and then you, you'll mess up a longevity type of situation 
behind something quick. Who was on the car, the car that night to perform, and why do you feel like you guys didn't get to perform? Because it was really like who else was, was there? It was a lot of people there that night. It was a strip club here at Kyle the Pentagon. Miss Chris is the manager. I have a very good. So you said memory. Big X was there for sure. Big show. X was there. He can witness Trap to boy. this shit. Trap boy and Channing was the main headliner. And Channing was the head. Yeah, man. and we didn't stay to see her. And I love her, but no. So what happened when you guys, how did you know that you guys were not going to be able to perform? When Big X hit the stage, we were supposed to have been going before him. Okay. And, and he hit the stage. So at the Pentagon, there are stairs to go up to the DJ booth. I got my security and say, walk me up here to the DJ booth. How early were you there before we Big X? We got there. Were y'all late? No, we got there at 11 o'clock. Okay. We supposed to been performing by one. It was 3.30. When Big X hit the okay. stage. Okay, okay, so y'all been there for a while. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, so we don't been here since 11 o'clock. He come over there with some bottles. Well, I promise you guys this section, you ain't promised me shit, I paid for it. Okay, you ain't gave me nothing. Let's be clear. So at the end of the day, the sections that we bought, we took up the whole front part of the Pentagon, and I had bought three sections in VIP. So how much was three sections outside like, of the seventy five hundred? They were probably like a thousand a piece. So you spent three three thousand. I mean, a, a thousand. Yeah, for 3, that particular 000. event, about three grand. And then seventy five hundred as well. Separate. Separate. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah. So when I get there, I'm trusting you because I'm. This is somebody trying to build a relationship with me on marketing and stuff, and I'm doing. I'm giving this opportunity to several people at the time, from DJs to promoters to whatever, because my bag was was right you know what i'm saying yeah. to give opportunities M mama scott when your bag ain't been right yeah so let's be real it ain't it ain't, been it ain't the best right now no but, no no but, we don't get but, into yeah, that but, you know what I'm but right been, now i've been working my ass off you so, know, so so you get there and you 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 expect to perform y'all partying y'all having a good time yeah what's up trap boy freddie he kept what's coming up, over there yeah what's he up? kept coming over there with that bullshit i'm gonna get you five minutes now five minutes you're up next da -da -da -da. kept doing us like that the whole night until when i seen big x them hit the stage and I say, oh no, because we're supposed to go on before them. So when I go up, he's like, oh, they switched the DJs. I, I don't have nothing to do with it. So when I get up to the DJ booth, it's Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Hit, Hit that hoe. When he see my face and my security with me, he's like, oh, Mama Scott, I didn't mean to meet you like this. I'm like, bro, I don't, I'm not here for that, bro. You so know, he saying? already like, knew what was yes, going on. Yes, it was fuck shit. That's so what they I knew that they wasn't going to let you perform that night. It was fuck shit. And and they had too many people on the show. This is what they do on shows and this is one of the things they need to stop doing and I'm going to say that abroad this is the, some of the things that all promoters do quit scheduling too many artists to where the only thing y'all looking at is the amount of money you're trying to recoup from a budget that you never could afford to begin with wow I, so did you did, get your money back? I'm about no. to ask that no not a dime of oh, it? The, oh from the club yes because we stood there but we had to fight damn near to get my money back because I had to tell Miss Chris and she's meant her good now but you won't have a club if you don't give me my money back. That's the 7,500 you're talking about. No, I'm talking about just the 3,000. That's 3,000. So I'm talking about the 7,500 for No, the 7,500 I never recouped. And who did you give the 7,500 to? Blueski Blue. PayPal them. Receipts don't lie. Can't it, you dispute it on PayPal? I don't know. Um, at the time, I was just like, because, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like, you should have some type of uh, common ethic or something. That's not no little money. You know what I'm saying? So you should have enough inside of you to be like, you know what? She didn't do me wrong, and I probably needed that money real bad when she PayPal me. Of course, we all need it. But at the end of the day, I'm going to do right by her. So I'm going to reach back out and try to make it right. That would have been the appropriate thing to do. So mm -hmm. sometimes I was sitting back trying to say, well, maybe they'll make it right. I always try to find a positive layer in something that's negative still giving people the benefit of the doubt even when they don't deserve it everybody ain't you no but and, uh, it's okay wow i mean you know i've seen you through these through these uh last few years that i've known you year and a half or so since we met i, I think you you brought uh this guy moolah up here yeah he's another fraud ass nigga now moolah was another <laughs> i want to talk about this yes. moolah for a second because you brought him here yes what the hell happened because y'all was such a good pal buddy old buddy old buddy old pal I thought until you know I bought my cars out of Dallas this is how small shit is the sales girl that, that or lady that sold me my car well he must have seen her at one of my events and he started talking to her on the inbox she flew to Atlanta out there with him but she had enough respect for me to call me and say, Mama Scott, he ain't who he say he is to you. He down here bashing your name, talking about you a groupie. You just chasing him for clout. I'm like, what? Well, what? Was in, in, in Atlanta? Yeah. Yeah. All that got back to me. And then when I hit him up about it, 
He was like, oh, no, you don't need to be listening to her. She just mad because I cut her off. No, no, that's not what that is. Where's the where's the $12,000 I gave you for the cars? We so had, you gave him 12000 for yes, cars? for cars, for an event called... I got next that we was that's what we was up here promoting okay. when I went to real life. I you went came to the over here too. I went to I took yeah, him I remember three when you spots did, in yeah. one day. This is what I say about niggas that be fucking over people and they think this shit won't ever come back to haunt you. But I took my day, hired T Manley to follow us to get the back the back uh, behind story. the story. Mm-hmm. Took him to Dwayne Black at the Blaze. Took him over here to Jeff and Joker them at Real Life Street Star, and then brought him to Boss Talk. These are three hot platforms. We did all that shit in one day. Cause I'm promoting what we're trying to do or what I thought we were trying to do. Well, the whole time I'm looking at everything and we're pushed for time and we're pushed for a lot of stuff and I wasn't comfortable with the way it was rolling out. I'm like, we ain't gonna be able to do all that in such and such time. Cause he was, the, the event was more so like, he does reality show too. So he was yeah. like, no, we need the drama. No, we don't. Who need drama? I don't run act. I don't run events with drama, bro. So mm-hmm. you're not supposed to have my name out here in Texas like this, and because shit is not organized, and I'm promising people a certain product, or we can't, you know, promise what we're saying because he kept saying we got a team. He got a team. The team was him and this guy named Executive Briss. It was him and one other guy. I ain't seen nobody else. Now he he does have an online radio station, ninety seven point five Hip Hop Daily, and the last I heard, he was running Lax TV, and he's incorporated with a lot of big people out there. And I get it, but see, stuff like that can be misleading when you don't know the truth. Mm-hmm. So twelve thousand dollars you gave. Yeah, him. that was for a car. Did you give First, him I any sent more him five thousand because he said he wanted me to buy into the brand, buy into Lax TV. I got that receipt too. You know what I'm saying? That's so, outside of the 12? Yeah. So you gave him five, then you gave him 12? Yes. 12 for a car. What, what kind of car for what? We were going to give away cars at the I Got Next. I Got Next. So uh, this was a venture that didn't come through? That did not come through. And he just utilized, took the money? And did not give me the cars, have not refunded me my money, have not had the decency to call me and say, hey, I'll, I'll give, I, we can do this or whatever. I don't, I don't want to deal with people that bash my name and I'm doing business with you. So at that point, like... Why wouldn't you just refund the money back? He already knows I'm going through a lot, you know, because I've never been, uh, I've never been easy about not being transparent in everything that I'm doing. So people, when they come to me, it's always apparent whatever I'm going through. I don't like bringing people into blind situations with me, but uh, I trusted him. You know, we've been dealing with. This is not the first time. You know, I I gave him another opportunity to fuck over me. This is the second time he's fucked over me. You took him to your house. Yeah. He's coming to my house. It's a lot, you know, and that's why I say if he couldn't ever like just sit in a room with me and and say I'm lying. Nobody that I'm talking about could say I'm lying. I don't lie on people. So how did he mess over you the second time? That's that's with him coming out here and us promoting the I got. Yeah. Okay. So, so how did he mess over the first time? Real. The first time is a five. five. The first time we flew to Atlanta, he had a show out there, a showcase in Atlanta. Uh, can't remember. I think it was Lithonia, Georgia. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And one K were on a car. He never got his car. From him? No. Never well, got who did car. he win the car from? From Moolah Mo. He promoted it like he gave it to him. It's on his wall, still on his on his thing right now. We never got the car. When it came time for him to, to bring the car from New York or whatever, he say he had all kind of excuses. I got all kind of receipts with those conversations. So he come back about a year or so later, and we we're trying to get things back. On, trying to make it right. Yeah, trying to make it right, I thought. But it's... Dealing with that and then dealing with us trying to do I Got Next and this, that, and the other. And it just, none of that came, came. So before the first time, before the first time, how long did you know him for? Um, I didn't know him, know him. He found Journey. Journey, um, he was interested in bringing Journey on the show. She was the first interest he had, and he interviewed Journey. I remember it. We were in Atlanta when she actually interviewed with him online. And then he showed an interest with all the other artists. So we had major interviews with his platform because he's got a big following, okay? And we was on there, and he brought each one of my artists on there and interviewed and kept saying, you family, you family, you family, you know, woo, woo, woo. And it's just when people throw that word around, that's, Fake ass shit. Cause you're yeah. not family. Yeah, yeah, that family thing. You, you Hollywood family. <laughs> no, you family. But I was green. I'm gonna admit I was green as fuck when I first came. I'm thinking everybody's nice. Everybody wouldn't do this. I to told me. you, man, you was family when you came here, <laughs> and, and, and you didn't think mine was real either. And I didn't get a dime from you. So I'm trying to understand what the hell did I do By wrong. By that time, I had to make niggas I'm work for that. I'm trying to understand <laughs> what I did because I remember when you left for a first. I say, damn, we family. <laughs> 
And uh, we, you know, we hugged everybody yeah. in your group. I hugged all your kids. You know what I'm saying? I said, we cool, yeah. man. I said, you from East Texas. Yeah. I didn't want to meet your yeah. ass. Yeah. And then it's, next it's, thing you know, you left me. Yeah. And you start throwing this money to everybody but me. <laughs> what the hell did I do wrong? You know what I'm saying? We, we going to go forward and make it even more mad. No, nah, I'm, I'm going to be you honest with you. I, I, I really was more concerned about you from yeah. day one. I never did look at I looked at you as to say, how are you being compensated yeah. for what you doing? You doing a lot. Yeah. That was the first thing I asked you. The first yeah. day I met you when you walking out that door when you were leaving there on that first yeah. interview. I say what? How are you being taken care of? And I tell you, stuff? I just you I like keep I'm working. not. I'm, I'm not. Just I haven't working. received one penny from this shit. And that's what. And that's you what know, we said. And then, and the thing is, is that who who would keep in, involving themselves in something like this, right? Tens and, and tens and tens no and hundreds from. and thousands of dollars into people, into brands and stuff like that. I have a passion for what I do. My passion is in people. It ain't in the product of, like, when I met Tip, I like, nigga, I need that follow back. Like, for real. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I like, remember that day. You know, I so, that. so, and he like, Mon Scott, no, nah, I'm for real, Tip. You know what I'm saying? So, we don't come out here, we fucking with you. That's what matters to me. I need the relationship. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to know who you are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't about us trying to get signed. We ain't we ain't approached that man with like sign us, sign DJ. We never that's never been the goal. You know what I'm saying? Now if he if Grand Hustle wants to sign him eventually, we will be open to it. Yeah. But it's never been the goal to expect something like that from them. But the thing is, you know, you talked about Moolah, you talked about what's the other guy's name? I can't say his name for nothing. Blueski, what'd you say? Blueski. And, Blue and, Blue. and, and, and you know, these guys have you know, basically, it's been a are, couple of them. They, these mean, are business guys, you yeah. know. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I I I seen you this here recently, and when I seen you, it was in rare form because <laughs> you was on the internet here <laughs> lately. I was really trying to figure out, like, do I really want to cover this, or do I not? Because first of all, <laughs> that day, let me go into this day first of all. Let me do this because I need to do this. Yeah, go ahead. That day, okay, so I get a call <laughs> and I don't know who I got a call from first. You or Chief. One of y'all. I think it was Chief. I think Chief called me first. Yeah, he called you first. And then I was like, damn, you know, because I knew it was some stuff brewing. Mm -hmm. I, I, Mama Scott finna go live. Mama Scott finna go live. <laughs> Mama Scott finna go live. I said, really? And I don't know who somebody, you know, people were talking yeah. before the live happened. Yeah. And the next thing you know, I get a call from Chief, and I was like, you know what I'm saying? Damn, you know, she say you, you, you know, you and her having issues about this. And I really didn't get to talk yeah. to him long, to be honest right. with you, because I had to get off because of work. Right. So if somebody had called me. I was like, man, let me get off here. Cause me and Chief got a relationship. Right. I know Chief. Uh, Chief been coming over here ever since I started this podcast. Uh, just like you've been coming right. over here. So when you get off, when I get off with him. I talked to you. Yeah. And I said, hey, Mama Scott. I said, damn, you know, they finna go live. I said, shit, you and you and Chief, y'all got it going, huh? She's like, yeah, I'm finna go live on this nigga's ass. I say, well, okay. I say, uh, I just talked and to Chief. Did. I said, I just talked to Chief, man. I, I, I didn't get to talk to him long. That was after I got through with my he call. He don't see me. And I said, damn, you know, this is really finna happen. Yeah. And they say, you know. You go live. Yeah. And when you go live, let me just say this before I let you talk. <laughs> Your ass get on there and say, a uh, boss talk done told me. You called <laughs> boss talk. Nigga, you bought my ass. I, I said, how, I in the hell, I I say, how in the hell did I get in this? <laughs> now, I just was in the middle of a cross Because you family. But I said, oh, <laughs> shit, don't do this. <laughs> so, so, so at the end of the day, I see all of this stuff going on, man. Yeah. And my thing is, you know, it's like, damn, I hate to see, you know, I hate, the, to, see I hate to see the the, the, the disconnect because yeah. you got some good people. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Some great people that's been around here really impacting other people. I don't I, know what he impacted. No, no, no. I, I'm serious. <laughs> and, and when, he, when he walk in the room and dealing with mm -hmm. certain people, they respect him on a the level. They know when scam. you Listen, when you walk into a room, they respect you on a level. I don't scam people. Okay. So, and I want to get into it, but I definitely really want to understand, like, like you know, why do you keep giving these goddamn people money, first of all? Man. I got to say that first. You hear me? Well, you like, know wait what a minute. I, like, that's a, let me stop right but, now. But it, no, it, it hell ended no. with him. It ended with him, true enough. You giving out money to everybody nah, but ECO. No, nah, nah, I didn't give it. He asked for it. Okay, let's get to it. What, yeah. what happened? So, I had my break the cycle. So, when fuck shit is already presented previous to stuff, 
you already know you can see it the writing on the wall how it's fixing to play out uh-huh. but i had an event you were part of that event break the cycle in east texas which was break the cycle what started the money transactions before, was it for before so it wasn't no break the cycle when you got the call no so this was separate from break the cycle yes. so before you talk to him about break the cycle Y'all talk. I want to hear what that conversation okay. was like. So the break the cycle was when I, I was don't want to hear about the break no, the cycle. No, no, no. I got to incorporate it so you can understand. Okay. <laughs> break the cycle is how I ended up talking to him initially. Like when I called you and say, hey, well, do you mind speaking? And I said, don't put me on that goddamn fly. <laughs> I don't want to speak at your event. Why is y'all pressuring me? Why I got to talk? I remember you did an this. amazing job. Man, nobody want to hear that. But anyway, <laughs> yes. When I went, that's when you just called to inquire. Yes. Okay. So I have the receipts. If you ever want to see them, they're in my phone. Okay. And when I reached out to him, he said, "Yeah." He said, "Mom, Scott." He said, "Up." Uh, it took him two days to reply back when I first presented it to him. He texted me back two days later. So I guess in them two days, he didn't reply. I see the message. But when he did reply back, it was like, yeah, uh, I, I'll do the break the cycle, but I, I got something for you too. You know. So basically, he was telling me he had an event coming up, his birthday party. Not only would he speak at break the cycle for me, he'll do better than that. If I help him pay for the promotion, that he could not finish paying for for his party on the radio promotion. It was fifteen hundred dollars. Okay? okay, so it is kind of swirled up yes, a little bit, a little bit, because he it, it really becomes a thing where y'all start to conversate and some a few things Texting, come out. Texting because we yeah. never spoke. Never. Okay. <clears throat> so so did you feel like if you had told him no that he wouldn't have spoke at your event? Yes. Keep going. I do. So I was like, well, yeah, that's cool. You know, so because all this time I have been told that he's like a Dallas legend. I didn't know no different. You know what I'm saying? So I've been respecting you as one and carrying you as one and speaking on you as one as well. Uh, And showed up to your event and promoted and supported as a person that wanted to see you win. Okay, so you talking about the event in Tyler? Yes, that's the event in Tyler when Finesse told him to shut the fuck up or cut that shit off in front of two hundred people. Yeah, we me and we I actually had him on here about that. And he lied. He said it didn't happen like that. It happened. You seen just the like show? That. You were there ends. that day. I was right? on the front row. Yeah, you were there. TV I, was the DJ. Well, I was. <laughs> I, I just I brought him on because I want to know. He said he couldn't really hear. Yeah, he could hear it. The whole club heard it. The people outside in the parking lot heard it. Damn. What you mean? Everybody heard it. It was not something. It was like literally, it made TB nervous. <laughs> and he the damn DJ, shit. He, <laughs> but you know, that's how loud it was. And and so you supported him. So you felt like in turn he should support you. Well, during that night, um, I bought a section. Um, the section was thousand dollars. I bought the section. It was on a Sunday night. And we all went to support him and Finesse, okay? Finesse showed his ass, too, by showing, treating us some type of way in front of taller people. But Finesse you know, didn't treat you right. He treated the crowd fucked up. He came in there angry. They, they had guns on him and some more shit when he came in there. His security team, these are kids in the building, you know what I'm saying? Like, why y'all coming in here with that energy? That's how I felt. I was even on the front row. I touched it. Finesse, why is you acting like that? I asked the nigga, why you acting like that? He know he remember me. He, ain't nobody else got purple hair. No. Did you, do you have a relationship with him? No. No. Okay, she but I don't pay my money, so I gotta write. Know why you treat up like yeah, this? Yeah, she gonna come. <laughs> yeah, she, she at home, God, baby. This my this my own time. Why, we, nigga? We don't pay for you. We out here on a Sunday night. People gotta go to work and school in the morning. You in here with this energy like that? Like, no, that's not cool. But anyway, he he was mad. He later explained on behalf of Vanessa why he acted that way. You know, whatever. So I kind of get his point too. So I ain't gonna rag him. I understand why he was like that. They didn't do what they said they were gonna do prior to him coming into the building. We learned that later. Okay. Wow. Well, let's talk about. Let's get back up here to why you feel like Chief owes you fifteen hundred dollars. Well, let me tell you. See you. what I'm saying? Let me tell you why. I never had a problem when I when I left out of that. I'm gonna go back to this. I'm going to that. When I left out of Tyler, Texas that night, I bought a section. My cash app, I had used too much that day, so I paid two fifty cash, and I owed him seven fifty. Before I can get out of Tyler, Texas, he was blowing me up to my mama's got mama's got you got the other seven fifty. I pulled over, and sent you your seven fifty right then. You know what I'm saying? So it's never been a problem for me to do what I say. Oh. So when you ask me and you negotiate this for break the cycle, I take you at your word. What I said in the comments was, "I'm gonna trust you." Wow. I'm going to trust you because, you know, he looked like he was in a bad spot and trying to get his show, 
done, get the promotion done. Because I wasn't the only person you asked for $1,500. There's been a couple other people. But because I don't have permission to share their names, I'm not going to share their names. You shared my name. Well, you was one of the ones too, nigga. But yeah, at the end of the day, you know at the end of the day, you shared my damn name. You know what I mean? You shared my name on everything. Damn. At the end of the day, he had asked a couple other people, but everybody else was saying no. Then you found Miss Scott, and I was like, I'm going to trust you, and I sent you the money. You know what I'm so saying? did you I, know everybody was telling him no, no before? No, I didn't know until after I did it. And okay. that's why I'd be like, yeah, he hit me up too. Look. You know what I'm, I'm like, damn. I'm a damn fool. I just mm-hmm. sent this nigga this money. You know, so, so I you trusted felt, him. You felt kind of... Play. Before you even, even while the process. Before the event even came. Before the event even came. Yes, because the night of the event, everybody, you know, the flyers was nice. You know, when I do stuff, I do it. If I don't care if it's five people, everybody going to feel like they diamonds. I don't Mm -hmm. give a damn. Mm -hmm. I put them in the flyer. You know what I'm saying? I that was, was in the fly. Yes, I'm clean I was ass flies. About it. It, was a, it wasn't a fly, it was a book. Yeah, it was a These book. These niggas had a book. <laughs> like a magazine. I, I had a magazine cover in that hole. I feel, I ain't never yes, been in nobody. you look at that magazine. magazine that you got yeah. it over there still. Yeah, let me see that if you yeah. got it. It's, the, it's right here. Yeah, let me, let me see, see that. I want the people to see. That yeah. a damn this, magazine This, this ain't no cheap ass shit, bro. Yeah, I see it. Show so, so, it to that camera right there. Yes. Which one? That one. Yeah, so when yeah. you got Don't this. Don't go to my page, because yes, I'm the one who needs to see start. it. I don't but, see the damn but, page. There but it is right, right here. here. Oh, Why damn. Why did I waste my money on this? Damn. Why? You got a whole page. And you could have just, you told a whole lie. You didn't even have to be part of this book, part of this process, part of this event. And I was not hurting for people to show up like that. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, he came to me with that type of proposal, okay? So, he did show up for Break the Cycle. I wasn't even mad about it. It was other niggas mad, but I wasn't mad. I was like, well, okay, y'all, he didn't show up, whatever. But you go to sending me pictures of your car being on I-20, talking about somebody died at exit one. Then you showed me another picture with your car being on a record, talking about you had a flat on the way to my event. And you told me you lost $2,500 trying to get to my event for nothing. How did he lose And I didn't even hit you up for nothing, Mama Scott, is what he said to me. I showed it to my husband. My husband said, what the fuck? How do you trying to get to an event cost you $2,500? Right, that's what I was trying to figure out. If your tire was flat. You know, so... Did he ever tell you? I could fly across the United States for $2,500 and get <laughs> lodging. I could eat at the best restaurant. I did it. You know what I'm saying? So how can you tell me from Dallas to Longview cost you $2,500 for a tow truck, for a raggedy ass car that your ass need to turn in and get something that's more economical for you to afford? If $2,500 is what you pay somebody to come to East Texas that you never showed up, you never, he never had plans on coming. Let's be real. You never had plans. You already had them pictures in your phone. You already had your lies ready. Then you already had a way to try to get out of paying me the money that you owed me. Mm. You never did say um, what day or what month was this that he you sent him the money? June. June. Okay. And you got and you say you got text message showing the actual event. Yes, I will send them to you as soon as I get out, so you can incorporate them into this. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm trying to understand. I want you to understand that I can support everything I'm saying. I don't want to drag him or nothing like that. But at the end of the day, like I felt like. I don't wait it for my money two times. You had to push your show off because of this, that, and the other. Everybody else got paid. Ain't nobody else on here with that bullshit, but all of them are men. Everybody that you paid is male factors. So you think that because I'm older and I'm mama, get that mama shit out the way, that I'm mama Scott, that you don't have to pay me. So I negotiated that night of the show. I was like, hey, check it out. I said, franchise don't want to come to the show. I said, so how much are the slots? I, or either he told me the slots was seven fifty, but the slots was seven fifty. So I said, check this out. Just let him perform and just send me a thousand. Try to get your way out mm-hmm. of paying me so much, cause you already don't say it. You gonna double it back, which makes it three grand, right? Right. But I ain't even looking for that, cause I know you were lying about that too, cause you mm-hmm. lied about coming to break the cycle. You ain't got no three thousand dollars to hand me, nigga. So at the end of the day, that Sunday. He, um, I had artists that was in the building from East Texas, not my artists, other artists. I'll show, I'll send that to so you. So did too. franchise turn up? Did yeah. he go? He he showed up early, eleven thirty. 
got charged $60 for parking, was in the building, gave the USB to the DJ. They kept pushing it off, pushing it off. They let the, uh, what's that girl name? Uh, Dallas Kiki. Mm -hmm. She performed. I seen the footage. Then, then, then it started the mainstream people. So the other, it was a lot the of franchise people. franchise didn't get to perform. He didn't get to perform. You should have made sure he performed if he didn't do them but 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, why wouldn't you? Make sure that that's done. Because you're, when you see this, this, these conversations, you're going to understand why I'm so pissed off, right? Because he went above and beyond to be extra. Extra, well, extra. Well, Mama Scott, I'm going to be real with you. You know, this is Boss Talk 101. Yeah. Um, we definitely look for resolution. Yeah. Is there any way that that could be resolved? You know, because I know you're a woman that ain't just looking to drag nobody. Like, what will it take for y'all to set your differences to the side? He needs to learn how to talk to people, first of all. First of all, he owes me a public apology. I feel like that because you had me promoting your ass to come to East Texas and you never showed up. So that's first. You know, secondly, you did you never keep your word on shit. And then you had the he's been trying to do stuff with me in East Texas. Like, when can we do some shows? When can we I can't do shit with you. Your track record bad. Now I don't want to do nothing with you. So I feel like we need to be in the same room. I, that's how he can resolve it with me. Face me. I don't want to talk to you over no phone. I don't want to talk to you over no text message because I want a nigga to stare me in my eyes and tell me why he fucked over me or why he felt like he could. Mama Scott, I don't think people are sitting in the room with you. We heard what happened <laughs> between you and uh, you and uh, even Camp Nowhere. And that story is about you. What did she do? Yeah, she, 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 you know, I, didn't she, know, I don't know man, about this story. Not, what did you do? Yeah, that, that, that was what did you do to Camp Nowhere? That, it was some times that we don't go into because I don't want to yeah, rip I ain't, the score. Yeah, I ain't going to resurrect that yeah, right but, now. But, but, <laughs> It's been some times where she she came unwound on some situations, and I understand that when you've been hurt. But yeah. at the end of the day, uh, like I said, Chief, I, I've been knowing him a while too, yeah. you know. And I gotta be real, you know. The resolution gotta be a situation where y'all can sit down and and, and solve, resolve differences because a lot of people in East Texas love uh, yeah. Chief. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people rock with him. A lot of people when he show up, they for some reason Tyler loved it, nigga. You I don't know. know. I'm just being real. Just because the night he came, it was finesse. Yeah, it was finesse because that's he overshadowed him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they know the nigga down there. I ain't never seen him come back. Well, did, he been there before. Before oh, that. No. You know what I'm saying? So, only thing I'm saying is... I can't tell you what his records is. I don't know who he is. But maybe you don't put can... you in that ice on my damn podcast, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why you give, why did you give her the ice? <laughs> she got to drink what ice. you expect. We can't do that. Them, it's going to pick up, girl. On oh, my back. So, no, but maybe for the show, I love to give people the benefit of the doubt. I'm always playing devil advocate. Right. Maybe he didn't make enough money on the show to pay you back the money. He said he didn't. Now, I'm going to be honest about that. Sunday, when I spoke to him, this is another reason why I'm mad. <clears throat> when I spoke to him Sunday afternoon, I had sent him a message because I was respecting the fact that you had a show the night before, and I know you probably sleep. So I sent him a text message and told him the amount he needs to send back to me because this is what he said he was going to do, right? I have no difference or no clues thinking no different. I'm going to send your money back the morning of the show because because everybody's showing me the footage. Like, he won like a motherfucker. It's packed in there. They were charging 60 at the... Uh, da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? So everybody knows it's packed in there like sardines. So how did you lose? Mm -hmm. This is what everybody looking at, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, I'm like, yeah, okay, y'all, whatever. When we spoke that evening because he waited four or five hours in between my texts, maybe him waking up or whatever to respond back when we spoke that evening he was more so like uh telling me he took a loss told me he took fifteen thousand dollar loss a fifteen thousand dollar loss how so maybe the venue paying the artist to the come venue out was there? in the hood okay but how much does it cost i, I don't know probably not much <laughs> okay and how many people he had on the roster major people he had a lot of major people on the roster and he what? had to pay all of these major people mm -hmm. to be on that you, roster where do you feel like you're the only one that didn't get compensated i don't know i think i'm the only one that i know of i don't now from what i'm hearing i'm the only one that didn't get paid you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day when we spoke sunday he explained to me i was like oh, okay all right, I understand. You know, I piped down a little bit and let him t tell me his story. He was like, but I am going to work on paying you back. He did say that to me. I'm going. I'm not going to lie about nothing. So I was like, okay, Don. I get, he said, well, Eventbrite, I don't know what I got on there. And I know Eventbrite funds on Tuesdays. So I waited. I, I went to sleep twice and woke up mm -hmm. Tuesday. That's when I hit him up. 
And I was like, hey, do you think you can uh, shoot that back to me sometime today? Then it was the reply and how he replied to me. What did he me. say? Say, check this out, Mama Scott. I already done told you. What the fuck? And it was real, the way I read it, that's why it's not best to text people because the mood that they in is going to determine what emphasis that you put on certain words. And the way I read it was totally fucked up coming to me. You know what I'm saying? And with with how I'm already feeling with you fucking over me. Or I feel like you think you can fuck over me. And hearing certain people from Sunday to Tuesday tell me, no, everybody else got paid. Nate, mama was on the dough. The brother was running the parking lot. The family was on the liquor. How did he lose type shit? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, nigga trying to get over on me. That's how I'm, I'm feeling like that. So I still didn't hit him up aggressively like no bully, as he called me today. I didn't bully you, nigga. He called you a bully? Yeah. yeah. That's another yeah. reason why I went live today. When did, where, did it, where did he call you a bully at? He him, was live? Him and the young lady that introduced us talk okay. today she was trying to get him to pay me my money because she so he called us. on the three-way or something no she no, talked to she him she was talking separate. to him separate and, and then what, i talked to her later and what was it what was and what? she was telling me that he didn't have plans on paying me my money back mm. because he didn't like how the blogs had picked it up you don't get a chance to tell me you're not gonna pay me my money back like you're just gonna hold me you know what I'm saying? That's how shit gets twisted. And ain't no nigga in Dallas, Houston, Austin, San Antonio, East Texas gonna take that shit. You wouldn't do that shit to no niggas. So what make you think you can do that to me? You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what really pissed me off. It'd be the underlying egos and the way he's used to handling business. I'm not one of your hoes. But wouldn't that make things worse even if he, just by saying I'm not going to pay because the blogs pick it up. That's just going to give you more ammo yes. to keep talking. Like, yes. why? Just, if he pays you, he could just squash it. Before I came here at 11 o'clock this morning, I text him. Listen to me. And I said, so you're really planning on not paying me my money back? He never replied. That's when the young lady hit him up. And she was like, no, nah, he needs to, he just causing more problems for himself. Exactly. By, you know what I'm saying? So then he got fly with her and was like, yeah, I thought we was good Sunday. Nigga, you ain't hit me up with $10? Tuesday? 50? 100? Nothing. Payment plan? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Tell me what you working on. So what you working on? You been working on shit for two and a half months. How much working do you need to do to come up with $1,500? Mm -hmm. And if you are a legend, like you say, I'm sure that there are people in Dallas that love you dearly if you are who you say you are. Why did it even take you to bypass your own city to come to me to get the help to begin with? Then this person outside of your region help you and you hold them? What day was his um, event on again? Um, it was Saturday before last. Okay, so we were in August, mm -hmm. right? And you loaned him this in June. He's supposed July, to pay you June. back. July. July. Mm -hmm. And... Um, he was supposed to pay July. you. He was supposed to pay you. I want to say by the end of August, so to say, which is right after his event. Yes, because break the cycle was in August. Okay. So yes, got it. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to get that timeline. Yeah. Mama Scott, and I'm, I'm not even pressed for. Yeah, I, 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 I want to say this to you. Go ahead. It's not about the money to me, because I have, as you can see, taken way bigger losses. But the people that I've taken them losses from, they got enough sense not to try to pull my whole card and try to try to really get rah-rah with me, knowing that you owe me. You're going to try to move a certain type of way to keep me from exposing you because you know I'm not lying on you, for one. And it's going to shed a certain light on you. With him, you can't talk to people a certain type of way like people owe you, like I came to you for a favor and I'm bugging you. You know what I'm saying? Like, learn to talk to me a certain type of way. Learn to talk to people, not even just me. I'm, I'm not saying I deserve to be on no pedestal, but nigga, I blessed your game without no hesitation when nobody else obviously was sending no cash apps. So how, how are you going to do that? Oh, you know, the thing I, I have to say, you know, I hate you had the experience, yeah. but I also want to say, you know, quit giving these niggas money. I absolutely Like, I agree. told you that a year ago. Like, like yeah. you got to be careful because yes. people see you as a bag. Yeah. You know, think about, you know, you did business with, like I said earlier, T.I., yeah. Sauce Walker, Boosie. Yeah. Where Big money Yevo. was trying. Mm -hmm. Big Yavo. You've given out a little runny. Yeah. Uh, you've, you've spent money with all these people. So there's been some times you just spent a lot of money. You, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, when you you talking, you you talking million dollars yeah you're talking easily a million dollars oh yeah 
So at the end of the day, I get it. The fifteen hundred ain't much, but it's a tipping point. I think yeah. you pretty much at your yeah. Point I'm, of, I'm over it at this point. <laughs> you at your tipping and I, point. And I want to say that to Don Chief right now, as you looking at me or whatever, nigga. I don't I don't owe you the the opportunity to keep renting space in my head in a negative manner. I don't. I'm not gonna harbor that. I don't harbor any type of ill feelings towards nobody. But if people ask me, I'm gonna tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But. I don't have any hostility towards him. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you karma is real. Charleston White says not. That's what he said yesterday. He said karma is not real. Karma is real. You know what I'm saying? So the way that you move, the way that you treat people, it has an effect on things that are forthgoing that you can never even see. The people that are tied into certain people can affect whatever you're doing down the line because you don't never really know who's tied into who. So you need to move in a manner with ethics and a matter that has respect so people can respect it. We have enough problems as blacks dealing with white people that don't want to see us win. Then we got to sit here and deal with our own people fucking over us. That is not cool. And I'm tired of seeing this shit. If you scamming us or scamming people because it's an easy lick, stop it. I, I want to go just to something real fast before I get you out of here. Okay. Fast bash. Mm -hmm. We got to talk about that because that's some money right there. Yes. I when I first did anything, which I came to fast bash. Yes. And I when I came down there, I didn't charge you nothing. You did not. Again, you never have. I keep going through <laughs> this, man. You know, and it was some money made. I yeah. seen a bunch of money niggas in the room. Yeah. You know, I remember seeing my boy Lil Runny yeah. there again. I seen Baby. No, yeah. Baby didn't make it. He didn't no, come. No, he came. He came. He I came. didn't see him. No, he came. He, he came. Mm -hmm. Okay, Baby. We we'll mentioned him. Uh, yep. All of these people was there. Uh, who else was there? Tech. Tech came. Who else was for Bugatti? He was uh, out then. TSF, which was us. Uh, TSF, and, uh, I seen Sanji. him. I seen him. Mm -hmm. um, um, you spent over sixty-four thousand dollars for this event. No, over one hundred and twenty thousand. It was one hundred twenty. I missed the. Uh, how did I miss the forty something? <laughs> I don't know. I, you know spent, I spent seventeen five with Doug. You know what I'm saying? From artist, art, what is it? Artistic yeah. visuals. So he did a great job, but shit, I, yeah, I wanted them to look like BET. I wanted them to experience that. And I didn't make a dime. The event was free. Yeah, I know you did because I was in the room yeah. when you were spending money with him. Now, yeah. I don't, you know, I don't think I'm saying it. <laughs> but I'm tripping off the yeah. fact that you spent all of this money and you've done all of these different things. I always tell you, damn, signing to a label, nigga, you is a label yeah. because you don't need nobody yeah. when you're spending that kind of money. Yeah. Most of niggas ain't spending that kind of money. Right. These niggas is broke. Right. And I'm telling you that now. Now, you run into one like me, yeah. you know, I stand up you with you. You are definitely a you know real one. <laughs> you are one of the realest <laughs> ones I know. <laughs> real. I'm serious. You and Miss Jamaica do this shit from your heart. I've never seen y'all charge people to come in here and, and give them a platform and stuff like that. Y'all really have a bigger mission. That's why God is steady building y'all. Yeah. yeah, because it's from the heart. Well, first of all, you got to be a hustler from the yeah. jump. Yeah. I've, I've been hustling all my life, so yeah. I never had to depend on nobody else hustling. Yeah. Matter of fact, I would really, I would simplify my hustle trying to hustle off of you. Yeah. Because I got mine going. That's right. See, I'm a hard nigga. That's right. See, I'm not like these other, whoever you're dealing right. with. I'm such a, I'm trying to figure out ways to leverage way more than what you could ever take me. But some real your shit. Your little old five, ten thousand, twenty thousand. Ain't, ain't nothing compared to your friendship, <laughs> is what I'm yeah. telling you. The friendship is what's valuable. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to say this in closing too. Like, if you've never had money, you know, and I'm going to be honest, like, I have to tell this because I don't want people to think I'm so different. I'm not. When you see those stories about people, like, how did they go bankrupt? How did they this? When we're not educated on how to invest, how to make good moves, how to have the right paperwork, how to not get educated in certain stuff, you can go the opposite direction just as fast as you came into it. You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that is something, not knowing what I was doing to or how to move or what was important and what wasn't important uh, cost me tremendously but we had a lot of fun you know what i'm saying Didn't we though we had a lot of fun and one thing i won't ever take away from my team my artists my 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 employees is the fact we built a lot of priceless memories you know what i'm saying like and you'll never be able to take those from us mama scott let me tell you something you're crazy as hell let me tell you what you done one day you come in here we did an interview i don't even know which one of your niggas i interviewed for fast ent and you was going to the Chris Brown, and I thought you were crazy as hell that day. And yes. I, she say, I done spent 30 bands. Listen, that was, what the fuck? I spent, 
I spent 25 We gonna meet yes. Chris Brown We gonna hug him And then we gonna <laughs> Sit in the front And then we gonna And you got about 20 niggas with you yes. And I'm saying She finna spend About 30,000 yes. Did you actually yes. Get to meet him I never I want Chris Brown To know this Tag him I never got a chance To you meet him You ain't meet this nigga For 30,000 no, You paid all I that I didn't I didn't Because my husband got He was ready to go home So he was like I don't Oh he didn't even Want to stay oh, to see yeah, the yeah, so Y'all spent bad. the 30 And moved but out I had a couple of my Employees that did Get to meet get him At the after him. club And stuff They showed me pictures I was so mad I was like I I knew I should have went. Damn. But Chris Brown and Drake, you know, are like my all-time people I want to meet. You know what I'm saying? Like, those are my Shout out to my Drake. favorite Shout people. Out to you know Brown. what I'm saying? Aubrey Graham out of Canada. I've been rocking with him since so far. Gone. I ain't my staying kids. in Houston now yeah. from what I'm hearing. Yeah, but he from Canada. I but, but he's staying in Houston. He bought a house in Houston. <laughs> You know, but at the, those are my favorite people, you know, um, but that's that's my goal is to actually be able to meet them one day and get in a room with them. Well, um, I believe you're going to do it. Yeah. I'm if I had to bet my money, <laughs> nigga, the way you move it, see, them niggas might come tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I absolutely uh, I love the fact of your energy and the way that yeah. you, you know, like I say, your whole team. You, you pretty much uh, press the issue of making sure when I come to your events, I get to hear a lot of good music from your yeah. artists. When I go to your lives, I get to hear a lot of good yeah. music from your artists, man. I love the way you've developed something to where you take it and embrace it to where you show that, that love and that, that, that kindness. You're, man, shout out to DJ K. He, yeah. he think the world is his mama. He yeah. ain't playing by mama. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, she got a good heart, nigga. You ain't got to yeah. tell me. Yeah. I see it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But it's just a dope thing to have your kids look at you in that way yes. as well, man. Shout out to D Journey yeah. and, and Trilly with it. Trilly yeah. with his beat making. I'm gonna come out with the music. Come out with a yeah, we gotta hear that no more. I'm sick of that. He's getting ready to drop you know the, the hard album. <laughs> so yeah, shout out to say, look out, Trilly, Trilly and, and AJ One K. Ready to drop one. Yeah. AJ One K. Of course, yeah. he's up here in Dallas doing yeah, his yeah, own for thing. Sure. Uh, franchise as well. Franchise. Shout out to my whole team, Solo. Everybody. Shout out to everybody. My DJ, DJ Hollywood, DJ TB. I love everybody. I have so much love because we. Can't carry none of this shit with us. That's, That's the real. thing. Like I, I just, I want everybody to know that we are living in some hard times right now. You know, so if I can't be anything else, I want to be a pillar of motivation for people that feel like you can't do something. Quit letting people tell you you can't do something. What about in LD uh, three hundred? I seen. I think Bun B he gonna be on something with Bun yeah, B. He's, he's on some movies. Yeah, I seen yeah, that. yeah. The nigga working. Up. How how's it dealing with that nigga too? Let's get get that nigga LD, a shout out. LD always you don't work hey, business you with that nigga too. You gotta get him the sometimes because he don't do <laughs> some work. You know because he educated like hell. <laughs> like, hold on, let me get this. What is this? You know what I'm saying? So LD is one of the ones He'll that fit make right me, in yeah. with Bun B talking like yeah, that. Go ahead. He, he's one of the ones that that have. I've paid time, you know, I spent time in and paid his debt to society and come out never letting up, uh, showing people that you can do this. He literally lives, eats, and shits for this music shit. He really is one of them ones. I feel like um, Bigger Bag Tim is another one out of East Texas that is, they're, they're part of the older culture from East Texas, but they are still hard ass artists. And I, I just really commend both of them for doing, still doing it. He, and, and and let's not get out of here without mentioning Trio Talk, no Peel Talk. Oh, my boy. And let me tell you why, because this. <laughs> nigga gonna stay trying to figure it out yes. you know he just dropped a freestyle today and yes. shouted out all the bloggers to come and get some of the smoke that he has for <laughs> like on he, rap economics, on rap economics. Yep. shout out to them how boy did he friends. do he did good I mean yeah. you know I, ain't nobody else stepped up Yeah, we don't know how good he did to another nigga step up Yeah, once a nigga step up then you know nigga might uh, blah, blah 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 you know these <laughs> niggas is rapping out here man yeah, shout but out now to so, yeah, you, he, he does a lot of I know he promote a lot of different stuff yes. from Fast ENT Yes. And uh, at the end of the day, that's important to have. I, always, yes. I knew that as we, this whole thing was developing. Yes. I was like, they need that. You know yes. what I mean? So I think he's been the one to step up and really, you know, keep something out for yes, a while. because you need that from the artists like Lil Bubba, uh, GGO Kirk, T. Jones. A lot of these artists are really working hard out of East Texas that deserted Smitty Hawkins. So many of them, along with Fast Entertainment, uh, just everybody. I hope I don't forget too many people uh, that that's out there working, but those people there, uh, Seco P, uh, Guala P. It's a lot of them. Uh, Guala P. What's his baby name? Uh, it's, I can't Benzo I can't remember his name but he's out of Tyler it's a bunch of them a yeah. bunch of diamonds they just gotta stay away from the bullshit and stay focused and quit worrying about what people say you can't worry about the people 
You know, I have to tell my team that all the time. People would just poke at you to just try to trick you out your spot. Man, thank you, you so know. much for coming on the show. How can people get thank a hold of you if they're looking for reach out? You can you can get a hold of me by following me on IG at mama underscore Scott underscore and Mama Scott's backup page on IG because my page got hacked, but I got both of them back now. Also, you can follow me at Marnie the Reese Scott on Facebook or Marnie the Scott on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Snapchat. I'm on uh, Threads. I'm I'm everywhere. You know, so. And what's the name of your um, podcast that you're supposed to my be putting out? My new podcast is coming out. It's going to be Share My Shit. Hope, I hope to be launching that soon. Also, we're bringing back Betcha Song in Tyler, Texas, over there at the Empire Club at 4414 Watson. That's going to be a massive platform. We, It was up and running before the country shut down. We've been having a lot of response for us to bring it back. So, shout out to Betcha Song and East Texas. Is that yeah. what you posted? You posted something and said that... Um, is a way where people can start sharing their music and stuff like yes. that. What is that? What that yeah, is? Yeah, that's gonna be on Share My Shit and on Bet Your Song. Bet Your Song is where they actually bet their song. Yeah, it's that. gonna be like a hundred and fifty dollar uh, registration fee. We'll okay. probably take like seven artists. I always cap it off at a certain amount so it could be fair and they can feel like they have an opportunity to win. You don't want to have fifty artists and you only have one prize. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So. Just to give them the exposure, and then we're going to have people like BT Studios out of uh, Tyler, Texas, along with uh, Benjamin Harkless from, he does a lot of the East Texas marketing, shout out to Benjamin, and so many other massive people, J.R. Gidham, that have uh, volunteered to come in out of their hearts to help make this something massive. So, mm -hmm. And when is this going to start? In November. Okay. Got yep. it. Well, let's get out of here now. She got to go. <laughs> Check it, man. Listen, man. <laughs> Mama Scott. Yes. Man, you did a great interview. I guess this one will come out. You know, that last one, I didn't put that whole <laughs> out because I told her she too bougie. Right? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, no, nah, nigga, that ain't the real. Nigga, the real is in the building, man. You know what I'm talking about? I man, got we, we got a lot of work to do, man. Um, I got some stuff I want to run by you, see if you can't cash out me about 7500 You know what I'm <laughs> Cash out clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk. What a what a boss is talk. And we out.